We're still more than a month away from primary day, but already candidates are stockpiling campaign cash. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at how millions of dollars of your taxpayer money help fund some of those campaigns. Iowa News News reporter Kim Kalunian has more now live in our studio. Kim? Well, Mike, the program that allows general office candidates to seek taxpayer money to help fund their campaigns is in our state constitution, and it dates back to the late 1980s. The purpose? An attempt to level the playing field and put a cap on campaign spending. Campaign season in full swing, and now multiple candidates for general office are hoping to use your taxpayer dollars to help fund their campaigns. And this is a way to, to push the uh, corporate union money out of elections, and bring in uh, public money. John Marion of Good Government Group Common Cause says Rhode Island's public matching fund program dates back to the late 1980s and the state sets aside millions of dollars for candidates each election year. Those running for governor are eligible for roughly $1.1 million if they make it through the primary and multiple candidates including Alan Fung, Patricia Morgan, Giovanni Ferrosi and Matt Brown have opted in to the program. The catch? Candidates who receive the matching funds cannot spend more than $2.3 million. Governor Gina Raimondo, who's already spent about $1.6 million in just the last three months, is not seeking public money. We think it's good to have limits. We don't think there should be unlimited amounts of money spent in elections. According to the Board of Elections, the state doled out more than $1.6 million in taxpayer money to candidates for general office in 2010. In 2014, that number jumped to $2.6 million. All of that money comes from Board of Elections fines and from you, the taxpayers. The state's tax filing instructions explain how to contribute and allow you to designate a party of your choice. And this program applies to all general offices. So candidates for lieutenant governor, secretary of state, treasurer, and attorney general can also apply for a lower amount of matching funds. Now, Marion says he'd like to see this also apply to the general assembly races and to the primaries. Live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.